Hello, in this video I want to show how to attenuate waves. I just looked up this word in the dictionary and I hope it's correct. So what I mean is, when you learn about the Fourier transformation and stuff, then you learn that you can like use the sine and cosine waves to express any function like the, uh, like the zigzag or whatever, like in this way. But I always wondered, I mean like you, 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 you use like sine and cosine, right? So it goes on forever, but if you have some sound it does not go forever it just goes like this or maybe a little bit longer like this right this is what i mean with attenuate please correct me if i'm wrong okay so how do we do that actually it's pretty simple i want to show this in this funky plot program i think it's a german one so let's imagine we have a very easy transformation and we say it's sine 20x let's also zoom in a little bit so we have a strong oscillation, but it goes on forever. So this is probably not a true sound, right? And what does the magic is, imagine we have a function that is e to the power of minus x. Let's check this one out. So we see we have a nice curve going down here. And now look what happens if we multiply both, multiply. Let's turn this off. And you see that we actually have an attenuation here. So the wave goes down and goes down and goes down. And when we, for example, put this to a much smaller x value, also here, then we see it goes down much, much, much slower. Okay, that was probably a little bit too slow, right? So let's use. So depending on this factor, on the 0 0.5 factor, um, that controls how long the sound will take to fade out. By the way, I'm just curious. What happens if we multiply our sine function with x? That's interesting. Let's check the x function. That's interesting. And what happens if we multiply it by x squared? For me, that's also interesting, actually. Let's um, just go on with our experiment, right? So as you can see, our sine waves will follow this, I call it lead wave or lead function. And what I spe specifically find interesting, what happens if we multiply that by cosine x? We get this. And let's check the cosine function here this early wave but again this like goes on forever right so this is not really sound right so let's multiply that by e to the power of minus x what happens is this let's turn this off here and let's use a better factor so you see it better so you see now well, let's use an even better factor this one so you see it starts with a big sound and then we get like, woo, woo, woo. I'm not really sure what sound that's going to make, but I, I think you get the idea, right? So after we checked all these things, by the way, um, yeah, this is how the waves attenuate or like fade out in the Fourier transformation analysis. I'm not sure which one. And also this tells you what does it mean to multiply a function with a, with a trigonometrical function. Okay, but uh, let's switch that off. Let's check this one. We have x, right? And y you know how what we learned just now, right? So let's try what happens when we multiply x with x. We get this one. And we like have an overlap here and like th this doesn't really follow, right? Okay, let's try one more. This one. Uh, it does not really look like there's something controlling the other. So as far as I found out from myself, um, let's turn them off. These nice examples here, they work with the trigonometric functions, but not like with usual functions because the trigonometric functions have these nice waves. Yeah, so that's basically it for this video. I hope this helped. It was like the enlightenment of the year for me when I figured that out. If you have any comments, probably no questions. Um, 
put it in the comment section below. If you have questions, you can of course also put it in the comments. Put them in the comment section below. Yeah. Thanks for watching.